hello there how are you guys doing today well I hope you are doing awesome because today we are about to make some awesome juices and guess what they're all based around cabbage yes I recently made a new recipe and I think it is just absolutely amazing let me fix my camera um, so today is actually going to be a little different than usual yes I will show you one recipe first right off the bat but then I also want to show you how I go about making up recipes so I'm actually gonna do one on the spot haven't tried it hope it's good but if it's not this is just you know the experimentation the main juice that I've already configured is called cabbage patch apple juice it is so good all of my clients have requested this one love this one drank it in one day which was a bad idea but let's go ahead and get an overview of all of the ingredients all right you guys so for the cabbage patch apple juice we're going to be using one full head of a purple cabbage eight pink lady apples and half of the Chinese bitter melon now I want to make a comment about the cabbage as you can see I've kind of picked a one on the smaller end that's usually what I do rather than a bigger one and you can use whatever apple you want but when it comes to pink lady apples they have such a sweetness that really cuts through the cabbage and the bitter melon as opposed to using like a red delicious apple you know or something like that this is a good choice it's very sweet and delicious then over here with the experimental one as you can see it's still cabbage some apples and carrots and turmeric but we will get to that in a minute all right you guys so I actually need to start cutting up my stuff before putting it in the Nama um, I won't do all of that on the camera but I want to share a couple pieces of information with you about this drink in particular first piece of information you need to know is that you are absolutely going to fall in love with it <laughs> I didn't think cabbage would be something that I wanted in a juice but I'm glad I gave it a shot the other thing is this Chinese bitter melon here it is bitter so a little goes a long way which is why we're only using half of it and uh, you don't want to overdo it then the other thing with this drink it's going to produce about eight cups of juice so of course you can just cut this recipe in half if you just want to use like a 32 ounce uh, mason jar the thing I really want to stress is that this juice is so good that you could find yourself drinking it and not stopping like Pringles once you pop you can't stop but that is a bad idea unless you are doing a cleanse unless you don't mind having to go to the potty a lot why because cabbage is a colon cleanser so it's getting all of that disgusting waste out of you so just be mindful about that okay so of course when you work with the cabbage you want to make sure you cut the stem or whatever you want to call it at the bottom you want to cut that off um, personally I don't like to cut off too much because I try to use as much of it as possible that is not the stem cut it up so we can get ready all right that's all the cutting it really needs all right so let's go ahead and start loading up the nama starting of course with the cabbage it does take the nama a little bit longer to juice this it's a little more on the difficult side however it's really pretty like i love the color oh my gosh i can't wait for y'all to see it so the other thing about this juice in particular is specifically the cabbage actually produces a lot of foam so you will definitely need a strainer to separate it i'm just going to throw a couple of apples in as it gets slower mm. 
I've juiced all of the ingredients and I've strained this three times. You can do it too, but I recommend three because cabbage foam is actually really, really thick. Um, but the tip I wanted to show you is there is a layer of foam still left on top, but it turns out to be more bubbly than foamy. That honestly, you can scoop out That just looks so beautiful. See, you see just the light top of bubbles. Of course you can't get all of them and I actually don't have a lot because I took some off before getting on the camera. All right, so there we are. We have completed one recipe, and that is for my cabbage patch apple juice. Somebody told me that was a really pretty name that I chose. This makes eight cups, so you can reduce the recipe, cut it in half if you just want a 32 ounce mason jar to be filled. But I'm actually getting ready to go on a juice cleanse, so I have made a lot of juice. Now let's get to the experimentation as far as how I personally go about making juices. The first and most important thing I would say about making a juice is having your base ingredient. Basically, what I'm saying is this is the most important ingredient, the ingredient that you want to taste the most of, while the it's like the uh, main character and all the other ingredients are the supporting character. So here, I have cabbage, specifically green cabbage. Um, I only cut half as of now. I've got literally one tiny little thumb or pinky of turmeric and inside of the rest of this baby I've got four carrots and four apples. Technically my base ingredient to me is the four pink lady apples. Now, I also think that you should choose a backup base ingredient, meaning you might add more of it if you think it still, you know, would go along well with it. And so my backup base ingredient is going to be cabbage, because I've only used half, but I might use more depending on how it works out. And of course, the background is the four medium-sized carrots and the turmeric. So, also, if you have any experience with juices, you kind of know some of the things that already go well together. So we know, or at least I know, apples and carrots go very well together. And then turmeric pretty much can go with anything because it doesn't have much of a taste until you start adding a lot of it. So the only thing we're really experimenting here with is the green cabbage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in half of my cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and break my turmeric and throw it in there. Let's just do this. All right, let's go ahead and juice that much first. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that the green cabbage has not been as foamy as the purple cabbage. of the ingredients, which is just apple and carrot. All right, so we have finished juicing my random recipe, trying to see if it's any good. And so now what I'm gonna do is just try it and see if I wanna add some more cabbage or leave it out. So, tasting this, I can still tell that apple is the main ingredient. But, I taste the cabbage and I taste the orange. Now the thing about green cabbage that's kind of interestingly different from purple cabbage is purple cabbage has just a tiny bit more bitterness to it even though it's still not overpowering. Um, which is why I still added some Chinese bitter melon. But this is actually good the way it is. 
but I think I'm gonna add in the rest of the cabbage. The next step I would say that is important when you are trying a new recipe is like Raven Simone said in one of her songs from my childhood on Disney Channel, little by little we can make it better. Little by little, everyone together. So, I added half of a cabbage. I think the juice is good, but I wanna see if I can add some more. I'm not gonna throw the rest of this half in there. No, I am going to cut the half in half, and then that half and half, so a fourth, which will really make it an eighth. And I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time because I don't want to put too much and then suddenly it's nasty. So I've got an eighth of the cabbage in there now. And we're just gonna do it like that. And now I see, okay, it's not producing a whole, whole bunch of juice. So I think I'll be okay with adding in this other eighth. Let me just throw it in there. Okay, we'll see when it's done. All right, so I finished with a fourth of the cabbage. I'm actually gonna strain this before I try it just because my thing is really full. So now that I have it in this bowl, I feel more comfortable trying it. Let me see. Yep, apple's still the star of the show. And I feel like adding the rest of this cabbage won't change that. So I feel comfortable going ahead and adding in the rest of the head of cabbage. I don't remember trying the purple cabbage for you guys, even though I already know what it tastes like, but I'm gonna try it on camera. Okay, so with this juice in particular, I went ahead and added the rest. We are going to do the final taste test. 